Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to present you the UI for the NFT Marketplace application. Uh, uh, I will add a link below that you point you out to the GitHub repository for this application that contains the code as well uh, with the detailed explanation. Okay, let's see what we have on the UI. Uh, first we have uh, the two addresses that we need to find. Uh, the first one is the, an admin address, which will mint the NFTs and deploy the uh, initial stateful smart contracts. Then we have one buyer address, which will buy a single NFT from this marketplace. Uh, when the buyer buys the NFTs, uh, NFT, then he will be able as well to make a sell offer on the marketplace. Uh, the first step is that we need to mint the NFTs. Uh, with this uh, step, we deploy them on the Algorand testnet. After we mint the NFTs, uh, we need to deploy the stateful smart contracts. Um, the logic behind this step is uh, explaining details in the solution. So I um, so it's good. Uh, I recommend you to read it uh, as well in order to get the whole point what is happening behind the scenes and in the end we have uh, we'll uh, have a list here that will show all the executed transactions on the Algorand testnet. Okay, let's start. Uh, first we need to find those addresses. We found the first one, then we found the second one. Okay, now we can start minting the NFTs. I can, as you can see, we are minting Algobot 76 and uh, Algoana uh, 25. Uh, those are my favorite NFTs on the Algorand blockchain. And actually, I recently bought uh, those two NFTs. Okay, we first uh, uh, minted the Algobot. Now we are going to mint the Algoana. With this step, uh, we are executing uh, two separate transactions on the Algorand testnet. And after we have deployed both of the NFTs, uh, the execution or the deployment of the stateful smart contract starts. Uh, this, uh, this will be a, a little bit lengthy process because here we are going to execute roughly, I think, eight transactions, which will deploy the stateful smart contract, change the uh, a management of the NFTs, etc. Uh, meanwhile, let's explore one of those NFTs. Let's explore the Algobot. If I go to the testnet and uh, search for this ID, we can see that uh, this is the Algobot. The, I took the IPFS image from the original Algobot, which is located on mainnet. And uh, we can see that, that for the technical uh, uh, information that we removed everything, we just uh, left the callback address. And this callback address will, uh, only this callback address will be able to transfer the Algobot from one uh, account to another. And if we expect the Algoana, we, we can see the same uh, thing basically. Which is just the uh, Algoana NFT. We can see that the total supply is one. And we see that we have also updated the the management of the management properties of this NFT. After successful deployment of the stateful smart contracts, we can then start interacting with the NFT marketplace. But first, let's see. Uh, here is the 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 NFT marketplace. It's just basically the UI for the NFT. And we see the state of this NFT. We see that this is not on sale because the owner of this NFT hasn't issued uh, uh, an, uh, a sell offer. Uh, let's scroll to the bottom and see all the executed transactions that we uh, all the transactions that we executed. First, we see that we uh, we minted both of the NFTs. And if I go and check, uh, we can ex always ex go and ex on the Algorand uh, the Testnet Explorer and explore each transaction if you want to see what has happened behind the scenes. Uh, then we see that we deploy the stateful smart contracts for both NFT. Those smart contracts will handle the state for the NFT. Then we change the credentials for both of the NFTs. And uh, uh, then afterwards we upgrade uh, up. Uh, update the escrow address in the smart stateful smart contract. So basically, here we set up the uh, escrow address in the smart contract 
to to notify that only this address will be able to move the NFT from one place to another. And in the end, we add a, uh, a small amount of funds to both of the escrow address in, uh, in order for them to be able to handle the network fees. Okay, now let's uh, let's issue an, a buy order for the Algobot. Uh, if we go here, we can see the initial price is set up to one Algo, which is one million micro algos, and then. Uh, I won't change it and if I press this button we will execute a transaction that will initiate a sell offer. Behind the scenes on this the UI I've implemented that this transaction needs to be sent by the owner of the ASC of the NFT. If this transaction is sent by an uh, some other address it will fail. It will be rejected by the stateful smart contract. Uh, okay, we have seen uh, we can we can see that the state for this NFT has, has been updated. That the Algobot uh, 76 is put on sale for uh, one Algo uh, by this address. So this is basically the current owner of the Algobot 76. And if we go if we scroll at the bottom, we can see that the Algobot is put on sale, and we can inspect go and inspect this transaction on the Algo Explorer. And we can see that uh, we, uh, he, when we make a sell offer, we first, uh, as the first argument, we pass the method name. As the second argument, we pass uh, the price for the this uh, for the NFT. And we see that we change the up state from uh, active to sell offer. The, the, the uh, sell in progress. Those this state is uh, explained in the tutorial. And then we also update the the price for the algorithm standard asset. Once we have uh, put a sell offer, we can then go and buy this NFT. And when I press the buy, uh, buy button, the, algo, uh, the buyer address will initiate a, a buy transaction. The buy transaction, uh, transaction is the most complex one. It consists of atomic transfer of three transactions, uh, which we'll explore now. Let's see first it, if it succeeds. Now the UI is not updated uh, anymore because I only implemented for one state. And then we can go and see that the Algobot 76 uh, 6 was bought by this address uh, in this particular trans transaction. If we see this address, it should be the same as the buyer's address. And let's go now and explore the transaction. We can see that this transaction is a group transaction, which means it's autonom atomic transfer, and we have changed the application state of the uh, uh, of the app, which means that now the new owner hasn't uh, issued a sell offer, so we don't want to put this NFT on sale right away. And then we can see that the owner of the NFT has changed, or owner address of the has changed. And if I go, if we go and see the what. Uh, transaction we performed. We have performed, we can see that the first one is an application call to the uh, stateful smart contract. The, the second one is a payment from the buyer to the previous owner uh, for one algo. This is the, this price should match the one that was set by in the sell offer. And in the end, we see that the clawback address has transferred the NFT from the uh, previous owner to the new owner. And with this, we we completed uh, the whole life cycle on uh, on the marketplace. So we minted the NFT, we initiated a sell offer, and then we bought the N we uh, we we bought the NFT. Uh, if we want to continue this way, we can do it. For this, the new buyer can initiate a new sell offer, etc. Uh, I won't repeat these processes because they're exactly the same. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video.